Look at these glass elephants. They're absolutely stunning. I wonder how much they are. Hello everyone, it's Tiffany with Thrifting Vegas. I shop at thrift stores, estate sales, garage sales and discount stores for items I can resell for profit on online platforms like eBay, Poshmark and OfferUp. It's Saturday lunchtime and I'm just sneaking out to do, see what Goodwill has. It's uh, their dollar tag Saturdays and it's also their 50% off red tag sale. So I'm not really sure what I'm getting myself into, but we shall see. Let's go thrifting. Thank you. Okay, let's get a cart. Ooh. There we go. It's really quite busy in here. As you can tell, there's lots of people and I'm going to do my best to avoid faces and navigate through as best I can. And while I'm walking, if you're in Vegas or you're visiting Vegas, please come and join Danny and me at our vintage market booth within the fantastic indoor swap meet. It takes place the third Friday, Saturday and Sunday of each month. This month it's September 17th, 18th and 19th from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. That worked out perfectly because here we are at the hard goods. I'm going to start on one side, work my, work my way over to the other. Let's see what they have. There's that vintage tidbit tray with the chip in it still here, unfortunately. Let's see, some little marble figures there. Maybe that onyx, probably onyx. Oh, look at this star. It's quite interesting. $2.99. Looks like it's made out of strips of material. The tips of it are a bit frayed, but I'm going to put it in my cart and think about it always a good idea to do that because you never know who's going to grab something. This is a 3D sculpture. Sadly it has a massive chip on the bottom but had it not had that chip I would have picked this up. Looking through the candle holders. Ooh. You know, I seem to pick up this vase every time I come in. Some little goblets. I'm seeing a couple of things here I'm interested in. The first is this art pottery candle holder. It's $2.99 and I just love the blue with that lavender color. And this is a Navajo horsehair pot. It's signed and they actually introduce horsehair into the firing process and that's what makes that black pattern on there. These uh, hands seem to be missing whatever went in the center of them. Hmm, that's sad. I wonder what that was. Look at this. This is a German pillar candle. It's humongous. Really heavy. Now, I usually have a rule that I don't pick up candles, but since I have the booth now with Danny, uh, the niche lady, I'm definitely going to take this and put it down in our full display. Just checking through the rest of the candles. Oh, look at this. This is a shade for a hurricane lamp. And I picked up a red one a couple of weeks ago without the shade. This will be perfect. 
let's put that back. We'll set it on there for safekeeping. I also saw this uh, table lighter. It's faceted crystal. It's definitely got some age to it. I'll take that for sure. What else do we have? I'm going to shine my black light on the glass just to see if we can get any uranium to light up. This is a pretty candlestick. It's Avon, but I just love the cranberry color. Look at that. It's lovely. I wish there was a pair. This is party like their mosaic pattern, but some of the flash is worn off there, so I'll leave that. This is a really interesting tall candle holder. Don't know whether I could transport that safely. This is quite nice too, like a blue glass swirled stem. I'm in the Halloween section and they have these amazing vintage skull mugs. There's five of this cream color and there's also five gray. They're 99 cents each. I'm going to take them all. Just having a look to see if there's anything else. Oh, look at this little Easter bunny plaque. 69 cents. I love it. What else? I think I've seen most of all this stuff before. Eggs and Easter grass. Here are all the goblets in my cart. Let's go down the Christmas aisle and see what they have. Oh, look at this little nutcracker. He's a baseball guy. He looks like he's missing his bat, but he's still really sweet. I think I'm going to take him. What else? Lots of lights. Plates and buckets. Ooh, bags of ornaments. I like to have a look through these. Ooh, I see Dorothy. Look at that. Little Dorothy. It looks like a mini Stein. It looks like all the characters. The Tin Man and the Scarecrow. Oh, that's great. How much is this? $5.99. Let's look through the others, see what's here. Not really seeing anything of interest in that one. How about this one? Nope. Not really anything that stands out there. Not in that one either. You need to really look carefully in these bags because often there's one piece that will be worth make it worth picking up the whole bag. Got wreaths, boxes. If you're enjoying the video, it would mean the world to me if you could give it a thumbs up, drop a comment below, and subscribe to my channel with the little red button in the bottom right hand corner of your screen. Look at this egg. I think it's wood and it's hand painted. It's got Easter wreaths and ribbons on it. Really fun and cheerful. It says Nina Enterprises with the phone number. That's really unique. I really like that. I'm going to take it and it's gray tag half off so it's only a dollar. Oh, these bowls are quite interesting, but they're, goodness, so heavy. What's this? I see sand dollars. 
this is actually it's either fabric or um, needlepoint like a poem about sand dollars and it's only two dollars that's lovely I'm going to get that it's a duck I think it's a nutcracker he's funny signs and plaques baskets this is very vintage some praying hands in brass two dollars I'll pick that up the little plaque has the serenity prayer on it God grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change, the courage to change the things I can, and the wisdom to know the difference. Amen. Some coconut monkeys here, Hawaii. This is a little hand-painted Nippon shaker and collectors will use these single shakers to display hat pins in the holes. Looking at all the kitcheny bits. These are nice plates. Unfortunately, the gold is a bit worn off made in France yep in better condition I would probably take those with me lots of bowls this bowl is still here it's a chip and dip set here nice pottery piece it's a little bit plain though isn't it Oh, it actually tells you it's a chip and dip. <laughs> in the glass, lots of clear glass vases today. This is interesting. I think this is a wine cooler. You pop the wine in the main compartment and you put ice in that little blue pocket there and it cools your wine. I'll take that. It's really interesting and I like the blue. Speaking of interesting, I think somebody did a hot glue project here and spray painted it. <laughs> it's a drip glaze with a modern sticker. Little sweet piece of pottery there. I'm not too crazy about those colors. As soon as I lift that up, I can tell that it's cheaply made. This is an interesting glass piece, but I think this is a made in China item. The quality just isn't there and the top edges are really rough. This piece is still here and today I'm going to take it with me. I'm going to disregard the chip just because I love that pattern so much. I have quite a few things with chips just because I don't want to go them to see them go to the landfill. Checking through all the vases to see what they have. Anything old, anything quality. You can tell a lot by touching and lifting and feeling. Lightweight pieces get left behind. And going into the metals here, the candlesticks, wall pockets, spice racks, paper towel holders. This tray is quite interesting, but it's got a really big dent in it, unfortunately. That's a shame. This is a really brutalist earring holder, I think. 
it's not really my style. Some mirrored sconces here. They're a bit cheaply made too. Some sort of lock box here. I'm not sure whether it's for money or for records. That's not really what I'm looking for. This looks like a bowl holder. Is it for pets, I wonder? I'm not sure. Oh, what's this? It looks almost like a plate display. But it's not freestanding. It looks like it goes on the wall. It's like a, is it a pear or a guitar? <laughs> I'm going back one more time just to make sure I didn't miss anything. And I noticed this little trio of onyx um, figurines again. And I think I'm going to pick up this little donkey. These fellows are a bit chipped and knocked about. Their hats are all broken. Um, so I'm going to leave these and take the little donkey or mule. $2.99. This is a foo dog and her name is Susie. <laughs> She's a project piece. This is interesting. It's a piece of pottery not really sure what it is oh red duck i recognize the brand and it's a good brand so i'm going to put this in my cart and get it and figure out what it is later orbits by hookah these are cold stones for your eyes i think you put them in the freezer and then you place them on your tired eyes and they uh, relieve puffiness and soreness. They're stone. They say who could design on them. Let's see how much they are. $7.99. That's a bit steep, but you know, I think I can still make a profit on that. lots of glassware and I'm noticing this studio crystal and it's by Godinger, Godinger who make the silver candlesticks I often pick up the silver plate ones this looks like it's a crystal strawberry new in the box it's still got its original paper and bubble wrap it's lovely actually it would make a really nice gift so I think I'm just going to make sure that it's not cracked or chipped or broken and uh, take that with me. I found another Christmas ornament bag and look at this little elf. He's vintage, made in Japan. The bag is $3.99 and there's also a really vintagey looking Santa Claus and some owls and even a rubber ducky. So this is a great bag. One more bag and I'm seeing some characters from Toy Story. The dinosaur and little Bo Peep. So this is also a good bag to pick up. They just wheeled out a new stock cart. So let's have a peek and see if we can find anything on top here. The glass is a bit precariously stacked. Let's see. Glasses and bottles in that one. Uh -huh. I found this vase it's sort of a chromed finish and I'm just spotting this lovely shell it's an abalone that's been polished these sell really well for me let's put it safely down 
Now I'm in the lamps and I'm just checking out the shades. This one's quite nice, but it's a bit banged up. It's always good to have a couple of extra shades on hand. Oh, that one's stained and has a hole in it. We'll leave that. I love this blue one. Although this might be a bit challenging to find the perfect lamp for. It's quite specific. Look at these glass elephants. They're absolutely stunning. I wonder how much they are. $3.99. I just love the yellow and green and blue swirls. And the fact that there are two of them. You could use them as a display or even as bookends. They have their trunks up, which signifies good luck. They have little dimples for their eyes, little tusks, and their ears and trunks are clear glass. They're just amazing. I'm definitely going to grab these. Up top here are these amazing mid-century candle sconces. They're absolutely fabulous. There's two of them matching. They're $3.99. There's a brass look with um, thick, nice thick glass to house the candle. They're fabulous. I'm in the mug section and I like the design of these mugs here. They're Waverly, and although there's a set of them, I think there's about six or seven, um, unfortunately, they only sell for about $5 each. This is a shaving mug, actually. You put the shaving brush in his mouth, and the foam goes on top. He's a bit scary. I just spotted a great pickup this Grey's Anatomy mug. Grey's Anatomy is a really successful television show. This one is Pick Me, Choose Me, Love Me. Um, 99 cents. I'll take it. Look at this lamp. It's like a Hollywood Regency palm tree. It's absolutely fantastic. It's gold. It has the finial on top. It just needs uh, the perfect shade. I'm in the art and I'm seeing a tiger. Look at this face. He's amazing. He's so expressive. Look at this toucan. This is a Kuna Mola. The women of uh, Panama and Colombia make these and they uh, have them on the back of their shirts. They hand stitch them. This is just an amazing piece. What a great find. Just gonna have a quick flip through to see what else they have. Oh, this is a, almost um, holographic. It moves, the trees move as you turn it or walk by. It's very vintage, $2.99, I'll take that too. Some seashells, but the top of it's quite damaged, unfortunately. Let's see. These are really modern pieces. It's a bridge.
Here on my table is everything that I found at Goodwill. Say hi, B. Hey, Bandit. First, we have the bags of Christmas ornaments. I was really excited to see this little vintage elf. He's got his little legs pulled up and he's giving someone the side eye here. He's really sweet. He's got his original Made in Japan sticker and I value him at about $25. Also in that same bag was this little vintage Santa and I think he was a craft project that somebody made for their grandma. It says to grandma from Susan 79 Merry Christmas. So this is a lovely little handmade Christmas ornament from 1979. So unique just fabulous. Not really sure where to price him so I might just take offers. I also discovered in the bags these little Wizard of Oz mug ornaments. There's Dorothy, Scarecrow, it's an amazing likeness. There's the Tin Man and the Lion. And I value that set at $25. This is Goofy trying to plunge a bag of presents down a chimney. He's marked Disney and I value him at $15 to $20. All the other ornaments are quite fun. There's a duck, there's a little fun snowman, an owl. And I might either use those in my home or lot them up and sell them together. Oh, I forgot to show you these two Toy Story ornaments. There's Rex, the dinosaur, and little Bo Peep. And I value these two at $15 to $20 each. Back here we have these wonderful skull goblets. They're vintage, they're hard plastic. There's five grey ones and five of this sort of peachy cream colour. They're all a similar design skeleton with his head on his hand uh, with a sleeve as the base and I value these goblets at eight to ten dollars a piece. This was a lovely find it's a cross stitch showing the legend of the sand dollar poem and the sand dollars and the beautiful doves and the sun are all carefully done in cross stitch and the legend of the sand dollar is also carefully stitched. It's a really beautiful piece. I value this completed cross stitch. It's done by Diane she signed her name down there. I value this at $30. I should probably ship it without the frame. This frame really doesn't do it justice. It needs a nice mat board and a uh, much better quality frame. These two were also 
one of my favorite finds if I can there we go get my phone to focus these are a couple of stunning mid-century candle sconces they're sort of a metal look with thick glass sconces and a place for the candles inside I paid $3.99 for these two and I value them about $60 to $75 and I shall sell them down at our vintage market booth. You might recognize this candle base. I found it a couple of weeks ago. It's um, the base is made by Anne King, Qing, Q U I N, of China. It's a vintage piece. I looked and looked and I couldn't find any of them in red glass like this one. And clear glass ones were uh, priced between $20 and $50. In this shopping trip, I actually found this beautifully etched clear glass hurricane shade for 69 cents and it fits perfectly on top there so I do need to do just a little bit more research to find out the value of the red glass base this was a good find it's a chrome vase very mid-century looking unfortunately the sort of uh, frosty look is wearing off at the back of it into the shiny but I don't think that takes away from its uh, mid-century look it's a really nice piece I paid okay paid um, $3.99 $2.99 or $3.99 for it and I value it about $20 to $25 this is a German pillar candle with a scene on it all the way around as children lots of children it's a really nice piece I'm not really sure of its age but it's really really heavy and I value this candle to about 30 to thirty-five dollars. This is fun. This is a little carafe. You put your wine in the top and some ice in the blue pocket here and it cools down your wine for you. It's a really nice clear glass with a cobalt stripe and a cobalt glass pocket inside it's $2.99 and I value this about $25 to $30. This was something I found as I was walking out of the door. Somebody had decided they didn't want it and just popped it on one of the shelves near to the checkout. It's a really old, I believe, waffle maker, waffle iron. Um, it's got intricate designs here. There's flowers, there's a swirly snail, and uh, on the outside corners there are birds. It's a really super piece, very, very heavy. I've researched this and the prices are all over the place. Some of the old ones are fetching upwards of $200. So I do need to do a little bit more research on this because it's not marked anywhere. But if anybody can give me any information on this, that would be fantastic. This is a beautiful, beautiful piece. These pieces are made by the women of Peru and Colombia. They stitch felt to fashion uh, designs to put on their shirts and then when they no longer wear them they frame them and sell them 
This is a very, very intricate, really amazing piece. Similar pieces on eBay sell between 35 to 65 dollars and up. I really like this piece. This is a red duck oil candle with a shade. Let me show you the signature on the bottom. Red duck. It comes with a little wick. You put your oil in there, you put your wick in, you light it, and then you can diffuse the light with this pretty cranberry pottery shade. I value this about $25 to $30. This also is a signed pottery piece. It's signed by uh, it's Alewise. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that correctly. A L E W I S E. It was $2.99 and I value this about $35. Similar ones are listed on eBay for right around that price. I found two plaques in the plaque section. First, this little bunny, which I'm going to keep for my own decorating purposes at Easter, 69 cents. And secondly, this lovely vintage uh, Serenity Prayer plaque. It has some brass praying hands and the Serenity Prayer um, fastened to it. I paid $1.99 and I value this at $20. Below here is a little packet of Thanksgiving decorations. I thought I would jazz up our vintage booth with some fall owls and leaves here. They were 99 cents. This is a polished abalone shell. It's actually used or intended for use as an incense burner. You put your little incense sticks in the holes here. It was $3.99. It's quite a good size piece. I value it about $25. This is a Grey's Anatomy oversized coffee mug. It's pick me, choose me, love me. And I value this right about $20. These, along with the toucan bird art, were probably my favorite find of the day. They are beautiful swirled glass elephants. They have clear bases. They're not signed, but they are just stunning. There's blue and yellow and green in there. Absolutely gorgeous. There's two of them, and as I mentioned before, you could use them as decoration or as bookends. They're fantastic. And I value these between 35 and 65 a piece. This is a studio crystal by Godinger, Strawberry. These are quite sought after. Um, this one came unopened in its box. It was all packaged nicely. I paid $3.99 and I value this about $35 to $40. This is a vintage faceted lead crystal table lighter. It's marked Japan. It doesn't have any other marks on it. Uh, just a little Japan up on the top here, right there. And I value this about 
30 to 40 dollars this is a Navajo horsehair pot it does have a little chip on the top there it wants to focus on the skulls let's see there we go just a little chip there doesn't take away from its beautiful design it's signed by Russell Sam he's quite a famous artist he makes jewelry and these horsehair pots they actually as I said in the video introduce horse hairs actual horse hairs at a very precise point in the firing and it gives it this amazing design in the pottery there I value this about 35 to 40 dollars I probably have walked by and looked at this piece at least twice and not picked it up because of the rather massive chip on the edge here but this time for 99 cents I picked it up the chip really doesn't bother me because this flower design in the center is so beautiful um, I can look past the chip I just didn't want it to get thrown away and put in the landfill so I was quite excited to rescue that this is a wooden hand-painted egg it's marked Nina Enterprises it appears to be hand-painted with an Easter wreath I got it for one dollar on sale gray tag I would value that about 15 to 20 dollars this is a fun little guy he is a nutcracker He's a baseball player. Unfortunately, he seems to have had his bat broken off here. But he's still really fun. And if he doesn't sell, I shall decorate with him at Christmas. He was $2. This is a hand-painted Nippon shaker. It's just a single. But again, as I mentioned in the video, collectors will use the little holes to display vintage hat pins and they look like flowers sticking out of the, the little holes there. This is especially beautiful because it has gold accents on the top around the holes there. This is a little onyx mule, horse or donkey. He was with a couple of sleepy farmers with their hats on, but he was the only one that wasn't severely chipped. He was $1.99. I value him at $15 to $20. These hookah design orbits are little rings that you put in the freezer, the, the uh, soapstone, you put them in the freezer and then you put them on your tired sore eyes to relieve the stress of the day. They were $7.99 I value them about $20. I picked these two up for Danny the niche lady she is creating a mushroom garden out of glass. She's just amazingly creative and I thought these two would add a pop of color uh, to her mushroom garden. So those are going to go to Danny. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you're interested in anything you see, please drop me an email to thriftingvegas.tiffany at gmail.com. I'll see you next time. Bye.
Please don't forget if you're in Las Vegas or visiting Vegas, come down and meet me, Tiffany of Thrifting Vegas and Danny, the niche lady at our fantastic vintage market booth in the fantastic indoor swap meet. It's at 1717 South Decatur in Las Vegas and it's happening Friday, Saturday and Sunday, September 17th, 18th and 19th, 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. We hope to see you there.